Hi guys, how are you today? How do you feel right now? What about the previous lessons? Have you been checking them? What about the lesson one, lesson two, lesson three? Remember that it's important to get a notebook in order to cut all the activities there in order to, you can study when you have some time off. Study, 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 repeating, checking the video and analyzing what there is in there. Try. It's important, guys, that you know this one. If you want to practice the English, it's necessary to check it and practice, check it and practice, check it and practice. Try. Right? What about the lesson 9? What about the lesson 10? Remember that in lesson 9 we finished all the question information with all the patterns, right? So we said uh, direct question, indirect question in singular, and direct question and indirect question in player forms. And remember that in lesson 10, we analyzed the family members, and we had all of them, and even we checked the possessive, right? Checking, for example, different examples like, you know, Anna's car, Pedro's uh, motorbike, and his back, right? And even we have, um, a little more extensive the kind of sentences that we have there, right? Now in this case, when I had lesson one, what was supposed to do this one? Remember that I want to pro I wanted to program um, there is and there are in this case, but it's really important to check before a uh, count and uncount nouns before checking there is there are. So in this lesson, we want to check this one, right? But let me remind you. That is important that you subscribe to this kind of channel. Try you haven't done it, please do it. Remember that we want to learn English all together in the same time. Try to remember send me the kind of comments here or the kind of doubts that you had there. Uh, at the moment that you check the video, you had the kind of downs, doubts, uh, send them right there and be sure about it that I'm going to respond this one or I'm going to show you here in the whiteboard. Right, so I want to start with this one. This is lesson 11. Uh, remember that I'm going to do it slowly, slowly, slowly. And when it's necessary in order to translate the kind of words that we had there, I'm going to do it. Right? Are you ready to start with this one? Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, we want to start with this one. First, we want to analyze the count nouns. We can mention like this one. That this is, uh, we want to see a kind of bridge form. I want to see it. Countable nouns in American forms, right? For example, we say, what is a can noun? First, we need to analyze this one. They say, what is a noun? You say, a noun is a kind of person that we want to mention, for example, or perhaps a name. For example, if I said Laura, if I said uh, Susana, if I said uh, Gerardo, uh, George, anything like this one, right? A kind of animal, a lion, a giraffe, for example. Try to control something like this one. Kind of objects that we can have, for example, I don't know, erases to record there, radio, etc. etc. Okay, any places, for example, school, not church, um, gym, something like this one, right? There is a noun. Okay? You so said, what is going to happen? What's supposed to have the platform of this one? For example, we want to have different endings that we have it here, the kind of endings. For example, if the noun finishes in X, O, S, C, H, C, H, S, H, and Z. Oh, let me check this one. That is not working properly, but I want to say like this. Oh, okay. Give me just one minute in order to do this one. Okay, this is like this one, okay? What one I, when we had this kind of endings, we were supposed to add this one, yes, okay? For example, then we had the singular form and we had the plural form, right? For example, this is it. Watch, watch, watches. Remember, adding this one that is CS, yes, with this and this. For example, in this case, the CH, that is like this one, right? This is CH, watches. SH, that is like this one. We want to add this, dishes. Tomato, that is the ending with O, it's like this. Tomato, tomatoes, potato, potatoes, bags. Once again, there we had a good O and with X, right? They see bags, boxes, an address that's gonna end it with S. 
They say like this one, where it says address is right, just, uh, there is a missing one that is with the letter Z. Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna check it later. Try it, or if you have any kind of word there that you know, you're supposed to write it here and add in yes, right? In order to make the platform of this one, it's important, guy, that you analyze it. This is one one shit that is just kind of examples here, right? But with these different endings, you're supposed to, at the moment that you see a uh, can noun, what is it? Oh, this is the canon as that we had. They had their different roles, so we're supposed to add ES. This like this. Okay? So, we want to mention that this one is not difficult, right? Just you need to pay attention to this one, and that's it, right? So, what is it? One watch, two washes, three washes, four washes, right? Or even what is it? One dish. Two dishes, three dishes, four dishes, right? One tomato, two tomatoes, three tomatoes, four tomatoes, one potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four potatoes, one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes. I want to see the kind of address. Do you remember the question that we have in the patient information when we say, what is your address? In this case, we're supposed to to realize it with this one, right? When we said ES, right? Addresses. Do you remember the question? What are your addresses? Try right? in the platform in the question. Do you remember this one? I suppose yes. Okay, now we want to give the meaning to this one. We want to give the meaning in order to write it there in your notebook, right? For example, we want to start with the first one. This is watch means reloc. Watches. Relojes, okay. Dish, plato. Dishes, platos. Tomato, tomate. Tomatoes, tomates. Potato, papa. Potatoes, papas. Bags, caja. Boxes, cajas. Address. Direction, addresses, directions, right? Just in this case, we need to practice this one, guys. Remember, analyzing the kind of uh, pronunciation that we had there, that is important to listen one time, two times, three times, four times. It doesn't matter the kind of times that you need in order to learn this one. It's important, right? Write it there in your notebook and practice. What should be is necessary to stop it and Rewatch this one again, do it, right? Doesn't matter, okay? So I wanna continue with another ending. We wanna analyze why when we had vowel and why when we had a consonant before it, right? What's gonna happen with this one? Because you see the same ending, but different forms in order to pluralize this one, okay? All right, let's analyze it. Okay, now let's check this one. Remember, in this case, we're supposed to have the same ending but two different forms in order to pluralize the work. Okay? For example, we had this ending. They say why? Why? This is the ending what we're supposed to analyze right now. But what is happening before it we had a vowel? Remember, can a vowel that can be A E I O U. Right? Before it. it doesn't matter what kind of vowel that we had there, that's gonna be the same, right? For example, here I had some examples. No, we had some words. Remember that this one that's going to be in singular, this one that's going to be in plural form. Just we're supposed to add, ah, oh, I'm missing that one. They say this missing this one, but it doesn't matter, right? We had a wobble before it. For example, in this case, they say key. We want to add S and we want to say keys. Okay, key, keys. Now we had A before Y. What is it? Day, days. Toy, in this case we had O. Toy, toys. Boy, though we had another O, it is a boy, boys. In this case we had week, though we had E before key, it is a week, weeks. Right, this is the only form that we want to change to the singular form to the plural form, right? Yeah, 
uh, well, I said I didn't, I didn't uh, write here the ending, for example, as this ending is to be here, right? But it's possible that you write there in your notebook, do it, right? So, we said, one king, two keys, three keys, four keys. One day, two days, three days, four days. One toy, two toys, three toys, four toys. One boy, two boys, three boys, four boys. One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. Right? Doesn't matter. Remember, singular, plural. So, we want to get the meaning of this one. For example, we say, key, llave. Keys, llaves. Day, día. Days, días. Toy, juguete. Toys, juguetes. Boy, muchacho. Boys, muchachos. Week, semana. Weeks, semanas. Okay, that's the meaning of this one. Remember, write it down there in your notebook. Study then. Check it again. You know, to no, very well what is going to happen in this in this uh, in this case right now we want to analyze this one but with the consonant form right in this case we have power before it now i want to write a consonant before it i want to check what is going to happen a ver let's analyze it okay now in this case what what happens they said we had the same ending. In this case, we had the same ending, a Y. But before that, we want to have this one that is a consonant. Consonant. For example, in this case, when you say country, we have R before Y. It's country. Countries. Okay? Because we want to eliminate this one. We want to eliminate Y. I want to write I-E-S. Right? In order to... Pluralizers, right? They say country, countries, nationality, nationalities, party, parties, pantry, pantries, right? Remember, if we had a consonant before it. We're supposed to eliminate this one. We're going to eliminate Y. I'm going to write I in yes, right? We want to say that it's not difficult. Just pay attention to this one. If we had a vowel before it, or if we had a consonant before it, remember that we want to do it in two different forms, right? There's no easy. For example, you say, boy, boys, country, countries. Got it? Now I said, a day, days, nationality, nationalities, right? We had the same ending. Why? But we want to pluralize it in different forms, right? So I want to say, this is not so difficult, right? Just you need to practice this one. Remember, right there on your on your notebook, and practice it. This one, practice. Check the rule, and then at the moment that you identify a word with this ending, you're gonna check if only at s or at i e s. Right? Well, let's continue. Okay, in in here we have uh, two different. Endings, for example, we had F or we have FE, right? But we have these forms we're supposed to eliminate it. I'm going to write VES. That's going to be best, right? For example, we said knife, that this we have this ending FE, this is knife, this is knives. Wife, once again, we had FE, wives, wolf. In this case, we have only one F. I say wolf, wolves, left. Then we had another F, only F. There's leves, and life. That is the ending. Oh, what is happening here? Okay, there we have this one. There's a life. The what this ending? F E. There's a lives. Okay, lives, lives, wolves, wives, knives. Right. Okay, remember, singular, plural. We want to get the meaning of this one. For example, we have the number one, they say knife, cuchillo. Knives, cuchillos. Wife, esposa. Wives, 
esposas. Wolf, lobo. Wolves, lobos. Left, hoja, hoja de árbol, ¿ok? There's a lips, hojas. Life, vida, lives, vidas, right? So, remember, that's important, this kind of end is that we're showing here. In order to know how to pluralize the nouns, it's important to know this one. This is the kind of exercise that I write there on the, on the classroom and teach all these kind of things to my students. And they know the difference. Sometimes they sometimes can forget. That's important, right? Because, for example, they can commit different mistakes at the moment they are talking. Commit the mistakes. They say, no, my friend, this is not like this one, right? Check. Your can nouns and uncountable nouns, and you're going to know what is the different this one, right? But uh, it doesn't matter, right? I hope you uh, won't commit any kind of mistakes. That's why you need to analyze very well, right? Remember that we need to sometimes we need to make a need for in order to let this one, but you know the language that's matter, you know everything, right? But you're in your process, this one that's going to help you a lot, right? But you, you don't have. Or what I said, you had the focus idea about the English. It doesn't matter, you're going to learn here with us, right? So remember, you're supposed to join us. And then, we want to continue checking different topics. And you're supposed to get it, right? Okay. We want to continue. Okay, what is going to happen with the rest of the nouns? We want to say this is the rest of the nouns. But we have some of them that are called irregular nouns. So we want to check before this one, right? For example, they says the rest of the nouns, we want to write S, no? At the end, in order to play the license. For example, we said car, cars, dog, dogs, wallet, wallets, coin, coins, bill, bills. Building, buildings. Remember that this kind of nouns don't have the different endings that we analyzed previously, right? This is different. We don't have that kind of ending. So that's why you just pluralize it with this one, with the S, right? This is very easy because we say, okay, they don't have the different endings that we checked before. So just I'm going to add S and that's it. No more, right? Okay. Now, let's check the meaning. For example, in this case, we said car, carro, cars, carros, dog, perro, dogs, perros, wallet, billetera, wallex, billeteras, coin, moneda, coins, monedas, bill, Billete, o podría ser también cuenta, cuenta de algún restaurante o algo así. Bills, billetes o cuentas. Building, edificio, o buildings, edificios, right? I hope you don't have any kind of problem, right? At the moment, they study this one. At least with this one, uh, no problem, right? I suppose that it's going to be easy at the moment that you de write there in your notebook. And studied it and just check. Ah, this is the singular form, this is the plural form. So, no problem. But you had, if you had any kind of problem, remember, send your comments, right? Send your doubt, and then I'm gonna respond to this one, right? But this is important, guys. Doesn't matter that you say it in Spanish, that you send your comments, right? Doesn't matter. Remember that we are learning at the same time. For example, for me, I practice my English again. But for you, perhaps that is the first time that you are going to analyze this one. And it's important. If you want to guard it, you had the intention to do this one. Remember, you need to make an effort in order to reach the goal that you are looking for, right? Okay. Let's continue with the irregular nouns. Okay. In this case, we had the irregular nouns. What is going to happen with this one? They say called irregular nouns because they don't have or they don't follow the same rule that the previous ones, right? That's why we said irregular ones. It doesn't matter the kind of ending that we have here, they're going to follow the same one, right? 
This is totally different. This is not the same one. Trying that is totally different. For example, we said child. The pluralized form one said children. Child, children. Person, person, persons, and people. One one said that people is the commonest, right? One one said that is the commonest, but persons is susceptible, right? Tooth, tooth, teeth. Tooth, fifth. Woman, women. Man, men. Ox, oxen. This is the kind of regular nouns that came to my mind in this case. But perhaps we have more, right? In this case, you need to analyze. Perhaps you need to check the, the internet. We have the bunch right now to have the internet to analyze this one, right? But uh, as I said, this is the kind of irregular nouns that came to my mind. That's why I write it there, right? In order to you can analyze it. But what I said, that is a commonness, for example. Sometimes the students can commit mistakes. At the moment they say children, that is the correct way they mention children. That is not the correct way, right? But in this case, I'm not going to write it in order to avoid you communicating a mistake, right? So we want to give the meaning to this one, for example. And it says child, that is this, niño. Children, niños, person, una persona, persons, puede ser dos o tres personas, o podemos generalizarlo como people, ¿sale? People, tooth, diente, tooth, dientes, teeth, recuerda, esta pronunciación en este th, that we have here, they say, you're gonna blow, you're gonna have your one shit, your tongue between your teeth, and then you're gonna blow. Okay, then we have food, food, yes, pie, feet, pies, woman, mujer, women, mujeres, man, hombre, men, hombres, ox. In this case, that's going to be a kind of animal. This is boy, oxen, boys. Okay? Remember, they don't follow the same, the same rule that we had in the previous nouns. This is totally different. That's why they are called irregular nouns. Okay? But there's something that is missing. Uh, this idea came to my mind suddenly. So I'm going to write it here in order to avoid committing mistakes, right? I'm going to write them, just uh, the one said that it's only two kind of examples there, in order to you can analyze it, right? I mean, let's check it. I mean, it's important to analyze this one. I was on the point of getting this one. But let's analyze it, really important, right? I say... That we had the ending O, we're supposed to add ES, like potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes. But remember that in English, we want to have the canonization stuff. So in this case, there we had want. For example, in this case, if we had the ending O, just we're supposed to add S. For example, when we had kind of appearances, right? Kind of objects like this one, right? For example, we say piano, pianos, only we add S. Radio, radius, only we at S, okay? Well, uh, I thought that was important to write it here, to mention it, in order to you can commit kind of mistakes, right? Just to avoid it, right? For example, you find piano, you say pianos, adding ES, no. It's only with S, only like this one, and that's it. There's no more, right? Now we are going to analyze the on-can noun. So we say, what is the word on can? On can, that means that we can do it in the same way that we do it here with the count nouns, right? When we, we can mention one, two, three, four, five, no, that's not possible in this case. At least that we had a kind of containers. 
But we want to get to in this episode, there's one, right? A ver, let's go to this. Okay, in this case, we're supposed to analyze the on count nouns. On count nouns, or perhaps you can find it in different books like uncountable nouns. That is it, they say in the on count nouns, right? It doesn't matter. What is going to happen with this kind of nouns? Remember, the kind of nouns that we analyzed previously, this is the kind of nouns that we're supposed to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., it's etc. It's it. But in this case, these kind of nouns, they are not counted like this one. They are not be counted like this one. For example, we had sugar, water, oil, money, breath, meat, soul, pollution. These kind of nouns can be counted like this one. For example, we say one sugar to sugar. No, they say cross. Cross, right? That white cell that's gonna be only like this one. Okay, there is a possibility in order to we can count the uncount nouns, right? How are we supposed to do this one? We wanna do a throw kind of containers that we wanna write in a moment in order to you can see this kind of things. But first, let me tell you about the kind of meaning of these words. For example, we had the first one that says sugar, azúcar, water. Agua, oil, aceite, money, dinero, breath, pan, meat, carne, soul, sal, pollution, contamination, right? For example, some students have asked me different question about money. They, they mentioned teacher. We can count money. I say, no, no, no. This is not possible to count the, the money. So we want to say that we can count bills, we can count coins, no? For example, we say one coin, two coins, three coins, four coins. Or we want to say one bill, two bills, three bills, four bills. But the where money, no, that means in general, that's not possible to be counted like this one, right? But in a moment, I'm going to write different examples, right? About, let's say this is kind of simple. A ver, let's analyze it. For example, we had a kind of container that so we we'll now use in order to, we can count the on count nouns, right? We we'll say that is the only way to do it, right? For example, if we had this kind of containers, for example, if we mentioned bottles, bottles, cans, packages, packages, boxes, slices, pieces, tubes, Bags, no? For example, you say bottles, botellas, cans, latas, packages, paquetes, boxes, cajas, slices, rebanadas, pieces, piezas, tubes, tubos, and bags, bolsas. Okay. A ver. For example, here, we want to pay attention to this kind of example that is it. This is a bottle of water, two bottles of water, three bottles of water, four bottles of water. As you can see, we want to change to one. They say a bottle of, two bottles of, three bottles of, four bottles of. And the word itself, they say water, 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 water. They say that word doesn't change. Got it? We want to say that is the same one, right? So that's why we need to be careful with this one. There is the uncanny nouns. We need to be careful with this one because we can pluralize it in the same way that we do it previously, right? So we need to use this kind of containers in order to talk about this one, no? For example, it says, una botella con agua. Dos botellas con agua, tres botellas con agua, cuatro botellas con agua. Got it? But the word doesn't change. A ver, let's see another example. Okay, here we have another one. It says a bag of sugar or a bag of sugar 
to back sugar, three back sugar, for back sugar. A back of, to back of, three backs of, four backs of, change. Now in this case, we change. One, two, three, four. But the way itself doesn't change, right? What we say that is the same example that we had in the previous one. They don't change, right? The word is not pluralized. In this case, we don't, we can say two bag of sugars. No, three bags of sugars. No, four bags of sugars. No. Okay, we're going to get. Another example in order to clarify this one, right? For example, we can use in this case packages, no? For example, we want to analyze this one, the packages, and we want to see what happened here. Okay, with this one, we're going to finish this one. In this case, we're going to use the word package. This is a package of money, two packages of money, three packages of money, four packages of money. Okay, very easy, right? But when say there is a piece of cake, when I said remember that the way itself money doesn't change. So it's gonna be the same way. We wanna do it uh, in the same way. Remember that in this case we can pluralize it adding s. Do you remember when we have the ending y? When we check it, that we had the vowel and the consonant. In this case, this this one there is not gonna happen, right? That when say there is another kind of a rule in this case because we are talking about an irregular right don't write s don't eliminate y on i on at i e s this is not a the the word in order to do it this one right well i hope you don't have any kind of problem right in case you have it send your message here and i'm going to solve that that problem here on the whiteboard try i'm going to try to solve all the doubts that you have there in your mind but I hope you don't have it, right? That's why you're gonna write this one down there on your notebook and study this, right? Okay, I don't know what, what do you think about it? Having this kind of class in English, or you prefer it in Spanish, I don't know, right? Uh, think about it, and then I'm gonna continue, but perhaps we we'll wanna continue in English, or perhaps in Spanish, depending, depending on you, right? That's gonna be up to you. You send your, your comment, I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to decide, okay? Now, I'm going to say goodbye, but I'm going to speak in Spanish first in order to clarify this one, okay? Okay, we want to speak in Spanish. Okay, bueno, con esto vamos a terminar nuestra clase de inglés, nuestra clase 11, nuestra lección 11. No sé qué pienses de esto que lo hicimos en inglés, o si quieres que lo siga haciendo en español, no sé, pero... Bueno, el, la razón de este canal fue hacerlo en español para que tú fueras aprendiendo detalle a detalle todo lo que estamos viendo. Pero también estamos perdiendo un poquito la cuestión de listening, ¿sale? Eh, que no lo estás trabajando si lo hacemos en español, no sé. Si te pareció muy difícil, si te pareció fácil, si lo entendiste, si no lo entendiste, pues envía tu comentario, ¿sale? Si tienes algún problema con esto que se vio, manda tu comentario y estoy por seguro que lo voy a responder. O si es necesario que haga esta clase en español, bueno, pues la voy a hacer en español. No, no me importa. O sea, tú, tú vas a decidir cómo lo vamos a hacer. Si lo hacemos en español, si lo hacemos en inglés. ¿Ok? Bueno, hasta aquí me voy a quedar. Si no te has suscrito al canal, hazlo. Aquí lo vamos a, aquí vamos a, a aprender todos juntos. ¿Sale? Y piensa, ¿no? Si lo quieres en español o lo quieres en inglés. Ok, yo espero tu comentario aquí. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Bueno, nos vemos en la lección 11 donde vamos a checar lo que es el deris y el derar. Pero era necesario primero checar lo que eran los contables y los incontables. Y ya después de esto ya podemos entrar a ese tema del deris y derar. Bueno, da lo mejor de ti y nos vemos en la siguiente clase. Hasta luego.